Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and we are about to start discussion on the most amazing conjunction and transit which is happening in the sign of Capricorn. So this transit has already started some time back, and this will go. Drikpanchang.com says until November 20th, 2021, not 20, 2021, okay? So Saturday, 21.36 hours, Ingolstadt, Germany time. So what is this conjunction? This is so almost another one and a half year. You know, this is the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn together in the sign of Capricorn. So now Jupiter is going to enter Sagittarius by end of June and then it will go to Capricorn again and then it will go to Aquarius and then retrograde and finally it will again enter Capricorn and it will then go direct again and finally it will enter Aquarius Kumbha Rashi on November 20th, 2021. So Till November to 20th, 2021, you can see this transit will bear fruits and effects and you will see the results, okay? So therefore, uh, if you know the Kal Purush Kundli, Kal Purush Kundli means the original uh, sign of Aries, Aries ascendant, okay? Where the house and the sign number is the same. So first house is Aries number one. So in that, you know, uh, this... The 10th Lord is actually Saturn and the 11th Lord is also Saturn and Jupiter is the 9th and the 12th Lord. Okay, So uh, these four houses uh, are like it. Uh, the, the, these are the uh, most important houses of the Zodiac because they are the final houses actually. They show a very evolved personality. So therefore, uh, in current transit, the Lords of these four signs which is jupiter and saturn they are now uh, conjunct in the sign of capricorn and uh, jupiter had already entered capricorn some time back so therefore uh, you would have started seeing the results from that time okay and the thing is because uh, jupiter is the ninth lord and he's the uh, also saturn is the tenth lord and we know Whenever ninth lord and tenth lord are somehow linked, they are aspecting each other or they are conjunct. Then this is a very special yoga known as Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga. Okay, so Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga is occurring in the sky now. Now, of course, uh, you cannot claim that everybody will face the results of this yoga or the good effects. So that will depend on your horoscope. What happens depends on your dashas, but I can give you some uh, primary principles. So, for example, if you are running particular dashas, then these tra this transit is very crucial for you. So, let's first discuss which dashas they can be, or and then after that we shall discuss uh, what are the effects that you can face. Okay, so during this time till November 20th, 2021. So for the next one and a half years, uh, if you are having Sun Mahadasha, then this time is very crucial for you. If you are having Jupiter Mahadasha, then also this is very crucial. Or if you are having Mercury Mahadasha, this is also very crucial. Even the Antar Dashas will work, okay? but Antar Dashas may not go for one and a half years. It may go more also, but may not necessarily every time. So I would say Mahadashas, and you can also take for Antar Dashas. Why do I say uh, Sun, Jupiter, and uh, Mercury? Why? Because the, the planets, the ninth house and the tenth house, these, these three are the Karakas for these two houses. So Ninth house has two karaks. One is the son, which signifies your father and elderly figures in your family, male figures especially. And Jupiter is the karak for gurus and guides, counselors, your patpadastha guru, your shiksha guru, your diksha guru, any kind of guide that you get, okay? Can be also your mother, father, anybody. Jupiter indicates all of them in the ninth house. And then 10th house, Mercury is the primary karaka. 
including Sun and to some extent Saturn also, but let's keep Saturn aside as of now. So Sun is uh, the Karaka to some extent for both the houses, 9 and 10. So therefore Sun's placement in the horoscope is very important. And here Jupiter is also involved because he is the uh, other Karaka for the ninth house and then Mercury. So therefore, if you are running these three Antar Dashas or Mahadashas, then this transit will affect you the most. Okay. Now, uh, what does it mean? It will affect you. It means that you have the power to uh, use this transit properly, uh, or I would say, if, if you have already been using this transit, uh, you have more uh, possibility to. Uh, uh, get good results from this transit. But suppose now you are not running the Dashas of either uh, Jupiter, Sun or Mercury. No Antar Dasha, no Mahadasha. Then what? So suppose you have a planet which is conjunct any of these three. Okay. And you are running Mahadasha or Antar Dasha of that planet. Then also this will hold true. So suppose you have Mercury, Venus conjunct. Then you are running Venus Mahadasha or Venus Antar Dasha. Then also this can hold true. But if you are running this three, then it's like bang on. So what is this yoga basically? This is the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. And these two planets control all of the things which need a lot of time and energy and effort. And which, see, uh, Saturn controls those things which require a lot of time and energy. And Jupiter controls those things where you feel as if there's a sense of achievement and progress. Jupiter indicates progress because he is the Karaka for expansion. So expansion means progress. So you have progressed in one area. That, that's what is the meaning of Jupiter. So Jupiter and Saturn, when they are together in the sky, you can get a feeling that certain areas need to progress. And certain areas can progress. There's a difference between needing to progress and progressing. So Saturn's presence can give you a feeling that there should be progress in a certain area that you, you must do it. Okay. You must progress in that area. But Jupiter's presence can give you a feeling that there is progress, which means uh, I can progress in this area. Okay. So uh, both the uh, planets are conjunct and th there are some other combinations also in the horse if you are having these combinations then also this yoga is very important for you okay so what are these combinations so because the ninth house is involved and the tenth house is involved so if in your ascendant chart if in your lagna chart your ninth lord is somehow very strong which means your ninth lord is exalted or it is in digbala or it is in the ascendant or in kendra or with the lagna lord conjunct then this yoga is also very important for you okay or if the ninth lord is the atma karaka then also this uh, yoga is very important atma karaka means the planet of the highest degree or if your lagna lord is in the ninth then also this yoga is very important. And if you already have Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga in your horoscope, which means in your horoscope, if your ninth lord and tenth lord are linked somehow, okay, then also this yoga is very important for you. And at the end, of course, if Jupiter, Mercury, and Ascendant Sun, Moon, if they are also helping this yoga, and you already have a Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga, then this is like fantastic for you. And on top of that, if you are also running the shahs of Jupiter, Saturn, or Sun, so Jupiter, Mercury, or Sun, then it's like fantastic. So, uh, this axis is primarily the Cancer and Capricorn axis. So, this conjunction is in Capricorn, and uh, Jupiter is in debility okay, when he's in this conjunction, and then you have Saturn who is in own sign. So what is this conjunction? And uh, Saturn is giving Nich Bhanga, Nich Bhang Yoga to Jupiter, which means Saturn is cancelling the debility of Jupiter. Okay. So what does this mean? This means that now Saturn in Capricorn represents progress through hard work only. <laughs> Saturn in Aquarius can represent progress through help of others. But Capricorn means you got to do your own work. There's no shortcuts. So whichever houses Saturn rules in your chart, for the next three years, forget shortcuts. 
do hard work and only then you will get results okay and yes as usual i forgot to say if you are new to the channel and if you are not subscribed then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit or marriage or career or any other area then please go to the website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so saturn in capricorn represents that now what does jupiter in capricorn represent jupiter in capricorn can represent that you have got so much lost in progress that you have forgotten the essence of progress so jupiter in capricorn can have one challenge that now uh, jupiter will be in capricorn for one year and there are millions of people or maybe billions are born that time so it's not that for everybody it will be like this okay so this depends on your horoscope so don't take one placement literally okay but in theory what does jupiter in capricorn mean? why does jupiter gets debilitated in capricorn because uh, capricorn uh, is the sign of mechanical uh, duty now is it wrong to be mechanical no no, no it's not wrong so the thing is uh, while doing stuff especially spiritual stuff mechanically we may get so much caught up in details and uh, the fact of doing or progressing that we may uh, lose the intention of doing itself okay why were we doing it at the first place so if jupiter was in capricorn alone then it is not that great because it is in debility it's in nicha avastha so therefore jupiter in capricorn can give a sense of helplessness and hopelessness and uh, inability to see good things for the future okay but now because saturn is conjunct with uh, this uh, debilitated jupiter so therefore what happens is you will see that although you are a bit uh, pessimistic but because the lord of the sign is there so you will see that although i don't see a way but by doing hard work i feel i can get through this so the a lack of optimism of jupiter which comes from capricorn's uh, being a debilitation sign can be compensated by the hard work of jupiter uh, of saturn i mean because saturn is cancelling the debility of jupiter so therefore this time is very crucial to take a note on the houses which jupiter rules in your chart so till november 2021 you may get a feeling that you are not going ahead anywhere in those houses okay so if jupiter rules your 10th house you may feel that your career is going nowhere or you may you may make progress if your dasha indicates the 10th house or the 11th house but you may feel as if things are not going the way you want it's like externally a lot of things are happening but because this transit is happening you will feel this till november or if he lords your second house 6th house 10th house or 11th house these money house then also this can happen so therefore you have to understand that the, so then you know the houses which jupiter rules in the chart then you check the houses which saturn rules in the chart so whenever you feel helpless regarding the houses which jupiter rules you feel hopeless you feel morose you feel sad you feel lonely empty then always take houses the the help of the houses which saturn rules in the chart okay so uh, many times people say uh, that only oh, bhanga is happening so so for example let me give you an example uh, once i had a horoscope of a scorpio ascendant and scorpio ascendant you know uh, the 11th house is the sign of virgo so there was one person whose venus and mercury were conjunct in virgo in the 11th house so then uh, this person told me some astrologer told that uh, venus is debilitated but because it is with an exalted mercury which is the lord of the sign so the debility is cancelled but then he asked me what do i make out of this well therefore we should not just give uh, blind uh, principle answers without explaining what is happening so if the 11th lord is breaking the debility so mercury venus are in virgo so one is exalted one is debilitated so what does this mean this means that the 11th lord who is the elder sibling can help this venus so so that is that is how you understand it's not that so now in scorpio ascendant's case the 
seventh lord is venus and 12th lord also so if this person has any problem by uh, problem related to marriage or union or companionship or the 12th house which is foreign lands or loss expenses and all this then this planet is in debility but the 11th lord which is mercury is giving the niche manga that means the elder sibling can bring him out of this so then i give a very simple suggestion a very simple remedy that whenever you are having problem in these two areas always talk to your elder sibling he is the one who will take you out of this nicha okay he is the one who is giving you nicha hanga okay so similarly the houses which jupiter rules you may feel that it is debilitated okay but the houses which saturn rules they may help you okay? they may help you to come out of this so suppose uh, saturn is your ninth lord then it can happen that uh your guru is helping you to deal with the problem related to the houses with jupiter rules okay or if jupiter is or if saturn is uh suppose your 11th lord then it can mean your elder sibling is help, helping you okay saturn is your third lord it can mean your younger sibling is helping you <laughs> all right so uh, you know the basic nature of the houses and the signs so i will not repeat that and the best part about this yoga guys the houses which these two planets rule four houses you know jupiter and saturn they rule four houses so from your ascendant the houses which they rule they have a tremendous chance to make progress okay and if you have any planet in the cancer capricorn axis then this will be even more prominent because major karma related to those planets will get activated during this time okay and you will see changes and results manifesting regarding this uh regarding this axis okay so if your uh, seventh lord is in either capricorn or cancer you may see some changes in your marriage okay your married life may improve or if the dasha is bad then your married life may have some challenges okay but always remember the thrust of this transit is uh be optimistic and do hard work and go ahead because the debility is getting cancelled by saturn's presence okay so therefore it's a very beautiful transit it is like uh, dharma karma dipati yoga if your horoscope is strong originally okay so therefore utilize this transit properly till november 2021 and uh, make a note of the houses which jupiter and saturn rules okay so this is how you can know how saturn is helping jupiter okay and this video might be a bit hi for some people so if you are new then you need to watch it two three times and you can also go to my astrology basics playlist and uh, apart from that if you uh, are new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit you can go down okay and there's a video of uh, jupiter and saturn i will put it somewhere here okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him